Practice report Omaha West Side. Early morning with the Warriors and the rain didn't stop them from practicing hard and having a good uh, workout this morning. Let's get to the knowns and unknowns. As a reminder, the knowns are players that return that have played a lot, and the unknowns are players that are coming or coming along. So let's just get started right to it. The knowns, pass catchers, man. Uh, we got a lot of them. Keenan Cotton returns for his senior season. Eli Johnson's going to have a big year as a junior. C.J. Jones, the senior linebacker, is going to play some tight end again this year and uh, like he did last year. And a couple of guys that impressed me today that are younger or a little more inexperienced are Maurice Purify Jr. comes over from Lincoln North Star and uh, Bryson Williams comes over from Millard West. They're, they're younger guys, but they, they fit in just nicely. Their pass catchers looked great today and in, in this first practice. And when they line up, you, you look at them and like, oh, yep, look pretty good. So they'll be just fine. Another position group that is in the known category is linebacker. C.J. Jones, four-star linebacker. We kind of all know about him. He's a, a stud. Johnny Hurtado is another one that had a huge year for them last year. He led the team in total tackles. And Quentin Warren is a junior, and he might just be their best overall player, and that's kind of saying a lot. Uh, just very versatile. They can use him a, a number of different ways, but linebacker, him and Jones outside, uh, linebackers are, are really good. Blake Kiefer's another one in that group. Ty Sizik is another one, the two seniors there, that will help provide some depth. Up front, offensive and defensive line is very much so uh, in the known category. Cam Bell is in his senior year. He's played a ton for Westside. He's going to play both ways on the interior, and his body has slimmed down. He is powerful, and he is <laughs> going to wreck people. Um, he did it today and uh, against some, some pretty nice players. So uh, the offensive line, Johnny Hurtado is going to probably, looks like, be the center. Connor Wayne is another one that's a senior there. Uh, Joe Soria is one, and Owen James is a pretty impressive-looking uh, tackle as well. Unknowns, unknown category, Westside lost a lot. Jamez Ross at running back, that's where we'll start. He was their lead running back. So who's going to step up for those guys? Finn Christensen is a senior, and he looks like to have the nod uh, as of today. But Tate Jenkins, a, a sophomore transfer from prep, is coming. He's very much so coming. He was super impressive. Reminds you a lot of Ross, but maybe a little bit faster, a little tick faster. Has a, a nice uh, first step and, and can make people miss. Quarterback, they lost Anthony Rezac, their do-it-all guy. But Braylon Warren is ready. He's in that unknown category because he's only thrown three passes in a varsity football game. But he'll be just fine. The, he has an Iowa State offer right now. Really controls thing, know, things, knows the offense, is, is a, a really nice player. Secondary is another unknown for me. Uh, again, they lost people like Caleb uh, Benning and, and others. So where, where we're at with that is Bryson Williams will be in that safety group. There's a bunch of guys. Bryson Williams is one. Uh, Drew Klein is another one. Titan Glassman comes over from north. He'll be in the conversation, too, at safety. Uh, Reed McIntyre is another safety. Uh, another couple of guys in that group. Eli Johnson is going to be a, a defensive back. Looked like he was playing some corner today. Uh, him, him in that. Uh, he's also in that known group of pass catchers that should have or could have a huge year for them. Keenan Cotton uh, will play uh, some corner. It looks like as well. Charlie DiLorenzo is another corner. Uh, Joe Simon's in that group, and um, Andrew Taggy, a sophomore, is coming along for Westside as well. Hey, Westside, I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. It, they looked pretty good today. Um, they'll be very much so right back in the mix, even after losing a bunch of talent from last year's team.